Hey guys, welcome back to Dollar or Less, and today is a different type of video. We are doing a little bit of a on-the-move vlog. It was not my plan for what we're going to do today, but it's just what's going to end up happening. So if you're excited, stay tuned because you're going to see what's going on. All right, guys, so what is going on right now? I am currently on the road, and I've decided I'm mixing up my normal format. I had a plan for a video. I was going to do a, this version of the product versus the actual product, but it turns out I can't find my Skyline chili can anymore laying around and they no longer sell them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So yeah, I just spoiled it. I'm going to Clearwater, Florida, home of Scientology and Tom Cruise and all that stuff, and I'm going to one, the one and only, not the one and only, there are several franchises, Skyline Chili. If you're from Ohio, you've probably heard of it, or the Midwest, you've heard of it, but apparently they have a Florida location, so I had to get in my car, get on a dangerous road, and then keep driving down the road, and then cross a bridge, go a couple counties over, to Clearwater, Florida, where I've, I've been there before. So I am going to try Skyline Chili and let you guys know, is it overhyped or is it actually really good? And if I can ever find the $1 can, I can compare it to again. But at the moment, I can't find it. I have some Wolf Chili I might eat as well, which might be similar for like hot dog style chili. I don't know what it's going to be yet, guys. I might do the review. I might go around Clearwater a little bit, see if I can see any, any people flag out there. Just so you guys know, Tom Cruise basically kind of has his own paramilitary that protect him whenever he's in Clearwater. And in general, the Sea Org is real. All right, guys, we're now in Pinellas County, which is the county in which we're at. Look at this amazing sunset we're dealing with today down the road. On both sides, nice good old Florida sunset, some palm trees and stuff. We're almost on our way. All right, the bag has been secured. We're about to go over what I ordered. All right, guys, I finally found a nice, safe place to park. I didn't want to park, like, right in front of the restaurant because there's not a ton of spots. And I got two things that I want to try out. It's actually, like, four, but we're going to go together, and I want to let you guys know if it's good or not. What I got was the Chili 3-Way and the uh, the uh, Coney Bowl. So the Chili 3-Way, I'll start with that, and I'm just going to get a bite of the Chili first. As you can see, everything is in to-go containers. I'm not eating there. I got all my stuff food to-go. Everyone in there was being very good, safe, protective. Everything was in containers. So this is what it is. This is a bowl of chili right here with spaghetti noodles. So to make it three-way, they give you they put cheese on it. I did not get the cheese on it already because I did it to go and it was gonna be sitting there, so they didn't want the cheese to get all destroyed and stuff. So I'm gonna add the cheese to it. But before I do that, I'm just gonna take a bite to taste the chili itself, which is the main reason I've driven all the way out here. I've been told by a lot of people this chili is really good and everything is really good. I've also talked to people that were not from Ohio, because the Ohioans might be biased, I assumed, about if they've ever had, I talked to someone who'd had it in the actual, in Cincinnati, where it is, and he said that it's really good. So I want to see if this location is just as good, because it's now like a franchise model that's moved to several states. Florida is one of the only ones outside their main demographic. So I'm gonna adjust right here, and this, this is a better look of what it looks like. Chili, spaghetti, I'm going to add the cheese, but first, again, I do not know how you guys eat in your cars. This stuff is very difficult for me for eating something like this. Get some chili. Okay. I'm going to get some chili and noodle. Okay. Now for the trifecta. I want to have it the right way before I give it a grade. If you guys understand it, I'm going to talk about what I'm tasting. Add a little bit of cheese. I have three bags of these cheese. This one should get two. Another dish should get another. And they also give you, like all good chili, oyster crackers, which i got to try too in a minute. But now we have all three together. Do a little stir a mix it up. Chili, cheese, noodle. Just kick steak and shakes out of the park by a mile. I will say though, the chili just itself, it's good, it's flavorful. It tastes like your standard chili that you put on a hot dog, only in this form it seems like it's a little thicker than that chili usually would be, it's not as runny. But there's just something when you combine it with this noodle, just a regular noodle, and the cheese, it just takes it to another level. Oh my God. It's great. 
That's the only way I can describe it. It's just, it's just great. Cheese itself is good, too. It tastes like a, you know, the kind of shreddy cheese you add on a Chicago-style hot dog? That's exactly what it tastes like, whatever that is. This chili, there's, it's just enough, there's enough flavor, there's enough spice to it, but it's not spicy, and it's not like a runny dip drip. It's all great. This right here, this uh, chili three-way, I got to say, this is a nine and a half out of ten. I know you don't usually do halves, but it's there's just it's not that it's bad or anything's wrong with it. I just don't want to give it a ten out of ten because it's not like that. Because if you eat the chili by itself, I can't give it a ten out of ten. The chili is like a nine itself without the other three to get, without the other two together. So since not all three components are tens, that's why I'm giving it a nine and a half. Stay tuned for the next item. All right, the next thing we got is one of the bowls. I got the Coney bowl. Which is the uh, which is three hot dogs moved up with chili and cheese, and it is served in this cup. I will say it looks a bit runnier than the chili, so I'm just, that's why I got the spoon out. This is what it looks like. Spinning it around, you can see the hot dogs in there. Sorry about that. For some reason, the camera just didn't want to stay. I spun it, I stirred it around a little bit, and it got a little more thicker. So I'm going to see, is this the same chili, and are these hot dogs really good? Because the hot dogs, they look really good, too. I'm just going to pull out a hot dog itself. You see right here, it's a little hot dog chunk. I got this instead. I just get them already chili cheese dogs, because I already have the pasta. I didn't need bun, too. Hmm. In this form, the chili... Tastes really good too. It's a slightly bit runnier. And when I'm drinking it, I get a little more of the heat flavor. So this also comes with cheese on it, so I'm gonna add some cheese to it. Just a little bit. I eat some of the cheese too, because why not? I got bags and bags of it. Stick stick and spin. Now let's try and get a bite of all three together. Of cheese. Uh, dang, that's going to be a little harder because i got the cheese towards the bottom. But cheese and chili and hot dog together. Hmm. It's good, too. If I had to be brutally honest, it is not as good as a chili three-way. But, don't get me wrong, it is not bad at all. It is good, too. The hot dog, tastes like a just standard hot dog like it is. A little grill. I think it was, it was grilled on a flat grill. You can tell. It wasn't charred. It's perfect. It just felt like a Midwestern-style, Chicago-style taste in hot dog. Nothing, not a huge, there was good, there was decent snap to it, decent flavor to it. And for the drink, we are drinking the Tropicana! Yes, Tropicana Lemonade. Yes, good low TV reference right there. I'm not making any gravy, don't worry. They also have Pepsi products too, but I thought I'm in the area where Tropicana kind of dominates to a degree. Might as well drink it. I'm also only like two miles just from the original Hooters. Pretty cool. Now for the, side, the sides and the fixings. All right, so the first thing we have are the crackers. These are meant to go with the chili and with the, the soup bowl per se, but you know what? I didn't put them into this. I'm going to save these for later. I have multiple packs of these, too. But I'm going to see how they stack up from my oyster cracker point of view. For a few. You all know what oyster crackers look like. Very crunchy, very fresh. I can just tell they do great in soup. With our level of absorption, but still staying a little to, to, to texture. These are great. These are a 10 out of 10. So, so far, we have a 9.5 for the chili three-way. We have a 10 out of 10 for the crack, oyster crackers. The uh, the um, the uh, hot dogs, the hot dog chili. I'm giving that, it's like an 8 out of 10 on it. 8.5 out of 10. And the last thing we have... I don't know why I'm doing this. This is a bad idea. But they also gave me some of this Skyline hot sauce. 
I'm assuming you add this to the chili or something, but I have to see what it tastes like. Look at the back. It's kind of, looks a little dark. It, I'm, I'm thinking this probably is not going to be super duper spicy, but you never know. Speaking of spicy, before you see the hot sauce, I want you guys, if you don't mind, check out this video. I'm going to leave it a link to below. Uh, one of the, my, one of my other favorite YouTube creators, Hillbilly J. He just is working on starting his music career instead of doing parody songs like he used to, starting to do some original work. And he just dropped an absolutely amazing remix to Upchurch's Red Coat today. I'm going to leave that in the description below. I've been listening to that for part of the day and whoo, it is fire. Let's see if the hot sauce is too. Yes, I did just insert a shameless plug because I was having an issue opening the hot sauce packet, but didn't want it to seem weird. I got it open now. Let's see how it tastes. <coughs> okay. It's a bit spicy. Not crazy spicy. It's spicier than I imagined. It kind of has a flavor palette of a spicy, like the spicier version Tabasco, like that type of vinegary flavor. Definitely spicier when I expect it, and I wouldn't expect you just to drink it all together. All right, guys, after putting everything together, I must say, Skyline Chili is definitely worth a check out. Everything was good. The, the, the chili three-way, great. Probably the best of, it was the best of the dishes. The oyster crackers were perfect. They were helpful just now, for the record. The cheese is great. The hot dog's great. The meat in the chili is great. The flavor of the chilies is great. And the hot sauce is actually hot. I mean... I don't know what else you guys want me to do. If you guys like this idea of me doing more adventurous, go for a journey to try some stuff, let me know in the comments below. And also, I'm thinking about starting a $1 movies reviews section for movies that I buy for a dollar. If you think that's dumb or don't want me to do it, let me know. It's just strictly going to be me talking about a movie. There's not going to be any clips of the movies in there. There's not going to be in the soundtrack. It's just going to be me bad talking or saying how great a movie is. It'll be kind of be more like a funny or rant style video. Y'all, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right. This has been dollar or less food and I will see you next time. By the way, this whole thing cost me under $20.